Hi then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Besiege. I'm gonna dick around with a few creations that one were sent in, two I found, three I stole, thank you, Matt Shea, and four, when I say stole, by the way, I just mean I saw it on his and then took it from what he used, I didn't literally steal it, and four, I'm going to try and create something special. I'll keep that vague so you won't be disappointed. This one was the one that I stole from dear old Matt Shea's newest video on Besiege, because this is probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I know what you're looking at, I mean, you're looking at it like it's absolutely nothing, right? I mean, you should. You shouldn't be expecting much from this, but then when you just, uh... I forgot to turn Invincible mode on. <laughs> Definitely needs Invincible mode on, I forget. <laughs> ignore the part where he decapitated himself, and certainly ignore the part where the sheep is molesting his head. That's what I think of that one. And I'm gonna need some... clean shorts. Right, let's try that again. So you can bend the poor little bugger, and he's just a flippity bibbity bobbly bastard. Isn't this the most amazing? Well, I'm more easily amused than any potty I've ever known, so maybe if I say this is the best thing you've ever seen, you probably wouldn't agree, but me personally? I mean, look at this. It's not just an acrobatic man that you can make it. You can make it your own little personal goddamn hellblade. Look at this thing. It kind of reminds me of the same function of the snake that we had before. You know, the one that absolutely loses its mind. Inst only instead of it having this whirlwind, tornado, hurricane, fucking Katrina effect, it's kind of more bouncy, stable, and controllable to a to a degree. I mean, you, you, you're not going to be able to get this thing to fucking go through a Pac-Man maze and collect all the poets and get the blue ghosts, just, that's not going to happen. Not for that level of control. But at least it isn't rocketing off into the goddamn sun and kid himself into a bloody melted pile of goo. You know I've got to make it a dirty thing, but he is currently essentially just performing self-fellatio. That is, you are living the American dream right there. What the, how does this connect? What have I done to- I'm just going to- I'm just going to hold both buttons we're going to see what happens. We're going to zoom way out, because we want to be able to see whatever the hell's about to happen with this guy. Usually when you hold on to- there you go! <laughs> it's a heat-seeking acrobatic man bundle! It's working a lot better than I expected. And just for the sake of showing anybody that didn't already see the snake, here it is. Any second this thing's about to take off and yet there you go. Never going to see it again. Good god. And then we have this fine creation. Uh, <laughs> literally just a middle finger. That's all it is. But wait! <laughs> There's more. You could say that this fine fella flipping the bird was a sick burn. That's the worst thing I've ever said in my entire life, and I should quit my job. I don't deserve this. Is what the f that's the quality I that's the thing that I choose to say. I have absolutely no cock fondling clue what the hell's going to happen here. Those I was about to say those ballasts are not going to stay around like they did, but they almost kept form. Let's see what happens round about now, because they're going to take off, unless of course they weight it down so it can't actually take off. Oh, I might have actually grounded the beast now I think about it. Right then, bloody go. Oh, he just, he just kissed it. He just kissed the head of the snake. And no, I don't mean that in a sexual manner. Where's it going? I placed you over there for a specific... Okay, now you're trying to fly. <laughs> Jesus, that like winded up its arm and just completely crushed the poor buggers. What's he gonna do? What are you gonna do when Gardamania walks wild on... You. <laughs> I'm really not sure how to control this, and I'm disappointed with myself not knowing how to do it. And I'm pressing all the buttons looking for this shit to work. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a fool. It isn't the normal number you use to control it. That's stupid. Why would it be? That would control terribly. Why would you use it that way? No, you see, any anyone with a brain would have likely used the numpad beforehand. Here it is. Turning as I wanted it to all that time ago, and you can even bloody turn it upside down! Look at that! Why, would, why did I just do that voice? What is wrong with me? I just verbally cosplayed Lorraine Kelly. This is awesome. What happens if I press all the directions at once? Are you just gonna... Oh! Oh, that's what's going to happen. I couldn't have picked a better time to do that. Whoa! Well, there's a bloody way to take... off, I guess. I've got Invincible on. That might be interfering with these little things. Once I get it on the ground, these wheels actually work quite well. <laughs> well. This was an accident. This wasn't meant to... Jeez, I can't see anything. That was not meant to be the way I was going to use that. I was like dicking around, seeing what would happen if I did it while I was on there, and the next thing you know, I've actually got wheels. Would I be able to turn it? You can literally just drive it on the floor. You don't even need to fly with this thing. I'd imagine if Invincible wasn't on, however, it'd be falling apart. I'd love to test that, but my UI disappeared. I don't know what I pressed to get rid of it. 
and I'm pressing everything trying to get it back. I think I'm gonna have to restart the game because, as I said, the UI is gone. I I did something terrible. Maybe it's a bug. Hey, it's it's AI access. It's excusable. Though I could have sworn with all my button mashing that I'm responsible for it, so we'll talk that one up to me. Right then, sorry about that, no idea what caused it. Well now what I want to do, seeing as, well this is just a, basically so it stands out, I'm not going to alter with that, but what I want to do now is um, add the balls to it again. Seems trivial, seems childish, because you know it is just the joke of adding balls to something and watching the flop about like bloody soggy testicles, but the fact is this, if I can get them hooked on something. So it builds up enough tension, so you know, it's trapped and I can't go far enough, and then they fling off. I, j I just want to see what'll happen with that. Now all I've got to do is try and find something to get it pranged in. That over there, that little spinny shit's looking quite good. I forgot that's not how to turn. <laughs> I literally just turned a second ago. Completely forgot how to. Cocking hell. We just want to get our balls caught in that little spinny thing. And at no point ever in your life will you hear a normal human being say that. I don't care what fetishes we've got going on, you don't want your balls getting caught in the spinny thing. Can you please just... This thing is unruly. Me adding the weight has certainly buggered it up. It's certainly impossible for it to bloody rely on weight and momentum. Oh, Jesus! Well, I've added a bunch of balls to it. Speaking of which, the balls just got a kill. If the scoreboard was listed, it would be five swag cop to three balls. Back up now. No, 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 it's the balls completely screw up. Oh, shit! I should probably disconnect the bombs so we don't have an explosive premature ejaculation. You know what I just realised? One, I'm an idiot, I already knew that, but I, I still just realised that. I can move it where I want it to. I can move- I can just move it so the balls are in the place where I want them to be. Do you understand how much of an idiot I am? Okay, we, oh, we've lost- oh, we've lost- oh! Yeah, we, we lost. Of course, Matt Shea gets it to happen by bloody accident, and I try to go for it legitimately, and it doesn't cocking work. Oh, there we go, there we- That didn't quite have the same result because I wasn't going quick enough. I forgot about the- I may have to abandon this pipe dream. I have a dream! <laughs> Where that doesn't happen. I don't even. What, what the. I don't know what just happened to the camera. I think the cameraman just got grabbed by God and lobbed. Good lord. I'm telling him to go left and he's going right. These bloody balls are more trouble than they're worth. That's what, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, that is a cop out. That is not exactly what I wanted to happen. In my mind, I was going to be flying. The balls were going to get caught in something. They were going to rocket propel me up the arse, explode me into a million pieces, and I would have flown off into a million different directions. What I got was me laying on my arse, playboy posing, waiting for a ball to just come hit my bomb and blow my load. Kind of. <laughs> I kind of accepted defeat, so that's that's going to have to do. <laughs> Sorry, I let you down. Okay, now I'm going to try and build. A variation, a variant of what we've already had. I don't- ah, shit. I can't have that there. That's going to be a problem, to say the least. You'll see what I'm doing in about... Pfft, two seconds for you, ten, twenty minutes for me. Here comes the money! Here we go! Wait. And there you go, it's off. And it is not enough. And my life is terrible. Oh, cut my life into pieces and throw it apart, bollocks. Oh, fucking cocks. It's a bit too bloody... Mm. I made it an even amount apart, so now I don't have an odd in the middle. Mm, you're a bloody tit is what you are, but we're going to improvise. He says. Right, it doesn't hit the ground. We're good. This can work. This can and goddamn will work. You see, I have a plan for this, and if it even has to work with invincible mode on, if that's the co if that's the compromise, if that's the sacrifice, then I have to goddamn make them. By golly gee gosh, that's what I'm gonna have to goddamn do, and I don't care. I'm fine with that if that's what I've got to do. It's not made to bloody complete missions, is it? I mean, it's too big to complete missions, so of course it cocking isn't. What's rule number one of besiege? After making anything, you brace it. You brace it more than Mr. Bean watching an interactive movie with a fucking wobbly chair. This is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't quite worked how I intended. It'll work in a minute. Right, the, okay, the decouplers just came off by themselves. Let's get rid of that. I think I've built this wrong. I think I've built this wrong. Just... Oh, I have. You bloody numpty! Oh 
okay. That's how you do it. My mistake was replacing the, the bloody blocks that were meant to... Jeez. <laughs> Forgot to turn Invincible mode on. That much I know. What I was going to say was, I, I meant to put supporting blocks on the sides of it. Not bloody other sliders, which is what I did. Bloody, it took me like three different things, and I was going to do what I originally... Oh, I was like a step away from getting it right, but I thought, no! That's wrong, let's do it the actual wrong way, so then we have to resort to a bloody video, so yeah, that's thick. You see, there's absolutely... Hang on, I need to turn the speed down, actually, so I can bloody process what I'm seeing. <gasps> and he... Oh, no, because they're going to get grabbed too soon, aren't they? That's going to frick with the... I need to get it at full speed. And then... I need to do it, because, oh, that's the problem, because they're gonna have to be on equal weight and it's not necessarily going to work, is it? Bugger! I was so excited about this idea, and now I don't think it's gonna be able to go down work, but it might. Hold your prayers, ladies and gentlemen, because if I can get it up to enough sp yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Nip. 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 Oh! <laughs> At least he got crushed by it. At least there's that. Is it completely, like, stopped? It just- Oh! God. Damn you, sir. You can see what I'm going for, but I've just suddenly realised that obviously that plan's not going to work, but it's going to shift the weight horribly every single time one gets picked up. But it's the thought that counts, right? And my thought was kind of somewhat almost kind of brilliant. I don't know why it isn't getting full speed again. Oh, wait, never mind, it's finally picking up speed. There you- Whoa! <laughs> Fold it inside out! Oh, Jesus! What happened there? What- how, how has this happened? Well, that's impressive more than anything, and it's still going. It's still going. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm sorry that my idea to catapult people with this didn't work. I wasn't even thinking at all. I was just like, hey, we'll take this and apply it to that, and then it'll work. <laughs> Clearly not. Clearly I haven't perfected this thing, because I wanted it to work with double arms, which I got working for a minute, and then it seems to have stopped working, because apparently the invincibility mode seems to alter that in some shape, way, or form, and I don't know why. But either way, you've... You've seen this likely a thousand times before from other people, and you've already seen it, quote-unquote, succeed from me. And I think that's where I'll be cutting the episode off for today. If you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it, please do let me know. I haven't played with Siege for a while, so if you do want to see more of this, speak up, and it'll be uploaded a little bit more regularly. And as always with this series, if you have any suggestions or things that you've created that you want me to use, please do send them to me on my email, which is on my About page. So yeah, if you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it, I think it's safe to say with our vast array of failure today involving both this silly thing and the, uh, testicle torsion earlier, that this entire thing could be described as a bit of a balls up. <laughs> And that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching all the way through to the end. If you did indeed enjoy this and do indeed want to see more of it, please do like the video to let me know so I can potentially make even more of it than I currently am doing. And if you enjoyed this enough to want to see more than just this, then please don't forget to subscribe as I try to vary my content quite a fair bit. And should you decide to do so, I'd recommend following me on any social media provided because some boxes don't exactly work. But you can always rely on those things to be updated when I am uploading a new video. Feel free to check out any of the videos that are shown here, and feel free to also follow me on Twitch. It's obviously not going to be as edited and quite as fancy as this, but I would like to think that it'll be enjoyable nonetheless. So yeah, thank you again for watching this all the way through to the end, and if you do indeed want to see more of this, then I guess that I will see you in the next video.